It's recently come to my attention that these days, in science, in schools, there are a large volume of students who are bored stiff by it. This might be because of the tons of maths, make tons of writing, or listening to lecturing teachers, and the mind can comfortably conceive. Now what I don't understand is why people would rather sit at the back of the class being dull, brainless zombies while everyone else does the work, putting them on course for an average life and condemning themselves to work as a teacher at a place like the University of Essex. Why don't you want to learn about science? Well, the only reason I can put down to you not liking science is that you don't think science is fun. Well, I better start explaining. Science has been around for as long as anyone can remember, probably longer, so it is based on everything in the world around us. Birds, trees, hippos, planets, stars, tables, chemicals, watches, cookies, cakes, computers, phones, planes, water, fire, flowers, small green slugs from the bottom of the sea, and everything else you can think of. There is a dictionary definition of science which reads as follows. Science is intellectual and practical activity encompassing the systematic study of the structure and behaviour of the physical and natural world through observation and experiment. In other words, watching and poking things and seeing what happens. Now, I want to stress that science isn't all about sitting at a table or looking at paint dry, writing down how it cracks and different sentences. No, science is fun. There's something everyone enjoys in science. Explosions, makeup, even the food you eat every day. It's all science. Science is also great because you can do it anywhere. For example, at school you may do an experiment that involves blowing up a small balloon full of hydrogen with a candle on the end of a long stick and laughing when everyone screams because of the big bang. And at home you might get a pack of Mentos, a two litre bottle of coke, mix them together and watch the fountain of coke erupt from the bottle and then laugh when everyone gets wet. In both of these situations you'd have fun and have a laugh. Yes I know there's a writing on paper bit, the maths bit, and the bit where you're bored stiff because the teacher's been lecturing on for an hour about some type of amoeba, but it's all worth it in the end, even if it is just to see Nick wet himself when the balloon explodes.